Hello children and welcome to this special English hour. Here we will learn lots of new things while having fun. Are you all ready? Let's get started. Let's start our day with a fun quiz. This quiz is very interesting and it will test your general knowledge. Are you all ready? So what we are going to do is I will be asking you a few questions and you have 10 seconds to answer my questions. Let's get started. So, my first question to you is, who was the first man to land on the moon? You have 10 seconds to answer my question. Can you all guess? Try. Yes, the correct answer is Neil Armstrong. Now, my next question. Which is the tallest mountain on this planet? You have 10 seconds to answer this question. Try, you can try thinking. I think you would know the answer to this question. And the answer is Mount Everest. Now, my next question. My next question is, which is the fastest animal on land and your time starts now. I am pretty sure you would know the answer to this question. If you don't, start thinking. The time is moving, tick tock, tick tock. Yes, the correct answer is cheetah. Cheetah is the fastest animal on land. Now, my last question. Which is the most sensitive body part on human body? Can you all tell me? You have 10 seconds to answer this question and your time starts now. This is very simple and very logical. I think you would know the answer to this one. Try thinking. And your time is up. The answer is skin. Skin is the most sensitive part of a human body. Were you able to get all the answers right? I hope you enjoyed this activity. Now, let's learn some new words. You will see these words in the poem when we read it. So, I request you to please make a note of these words in your notebooks. Aaj hum kuch nai shabd sikhenge. Main chahati hu ki aap in shabdo ko apne notebook mein likhe. Heed. Heed, heed, Rima paid no heed to her mother's words. Persevere, persevere, 
persevere. We need to persevere in order to attain success. Prevail. 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 We need to prevail in order to win the race. Conquer. 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 The king was able to conquer the city. Strive. 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 Our freedom fighters had to strive very hard for our freedom. Now, let's read a motivating poem. The name of the poem is Try Again and it is written by W. E. Hickson. I will be reading this poem for you. So, I request you to please open page number 28 of your textbook. I will read this poem and I request you to point in the textbook while I read it. And if you don't have a textbook, listen to me carefully. Aaj hum ek kavita padenge. Is kavita ka naam hai Try Again. Aur ise likha gaya hai W. E. Hickson ke dwara. Main ye kavita aapke liye padhungi aur main chahti hu ki aap apne textbook mein point kare. और अगर आपके पास टेक्स्टबुक ना हो तो आप मुझे ध्यान से सुनिए चिल्ड्रन बिफोर आई एक्सप्लेन दिस पोएम टू यू लेट्स रीड इट वंस टुगेदर ट्राई अगेन इट्स रिटन बाय डब्ल्यू ई हिक्सन दिस अ लेसन यू शुड हीड Try again. If at first you don't succeed, try again. Then your courage should appear. For if you will persevere, you will conquer, never fear. Try again. Once or twice though you should fail try again if you would at last prevail try again if we strive tis no disgrace though we do not win the race what should we do in that case? Try again. If you find your task is hard, try again. Time will bring you your reward. Try again. All that other folk can do, why with patience? May not you? Only keep this rule in view. Try again. Tis a lesson you should heed. Try again. If at first you don't succeed, try again. Then your courage should appear. For if you will, Persevere, you will conquer, never fear. Try again. Can you all tell me what the poet is trying to say here? Here, the poet talks about being fearless. He also says that if we are fearless, we will be able to conquer anything. And he also says that if we are not able to conquer something, we should 
never stop and always keep on trying were you able to guess some new words where did you see these words guess we saw them a while ago can you all tell me what these words were we saw the word persevere do you know what persevere mean persevere means very strong headed and very hard working another word that we read was heed do you know what heed means heed means paying attention there was another new word in this paragraph do you know what this word was it was the word conquer can you all tell me what does conquer mean conquer means winning something here the poet says that if we overcome our fear we will be able to conquer anything all we need to do is try again once or twice though you should fail try again if you would at last prevail try again children can you all guess what is the poet trying to say in these verses here the poet is talking about how all of us face failures but what the poet is trying to say is that we should never stop if we stop we will never be able to achieve our goal so what he is trying to say is that we should keep on trying if we strive tis no disgrace though we do not win the race what should we do in that case try again children can you all guess what is the poet trying to say here here the poet talks about how we should always think positively he says or he asks us a question and the question is what if we keep on trying but in the end we do not win the race does that mean that our hard work goes down the drain obviously not what the poet is trying to say is even if the end result is not what we expected we still need to keep on trying if you find your task is hard try again time will bring you your reward try again all that other folk can do why with patience may not you only keep this rule in view try again the poet is trying to say that we need to be very patient we see a lot of people achieve success but success does not come overnight one has to try really hard which is exactly what the poet is trying to say here he says that we might not achieve success overnight but that does not mean that we give up we have seen movies or we have read about many people and how they have achieved success so how did they achieve success they were very patient they did not give up so here the poet also wants us to be patient and keep on trying now let's do another activity this activity is about anagrams children do you know what anagrams are anagrams are words or phrases that we can create by rearranging certain words from a word i'll give you 
an example if the word is spar it is spelled as s p a and r now can you all think of a word that we can create out of the word spar if i rearrange certain letters i can create the word rasp which is spelled as r a s and p now for this activity you will see certain words on your screen and these words are from the poem now what you need to do is try to rearrange certain letters to create new words can you all try come on children were you able to rearrange these letters and create new words let's have a look the first one says rainy tag if i rearrange certain letters it will become try again the second one is our cage this can become courage next is wet so and this can become strive the next one says redraw after arranging certain letters this can become reward the next one says tap knees after rearranging certain letters this can become patience and now the last one it says serve peer and this will become persevere i hope you all were able to solve these anagrams children i hope you enjoyed the activity now let's do another activity in this activity you will see a few situations on your screens along with these situations you will also have a few options in these situations people are feeling demotivated what you need to do is try to select the correct option which will motivate them ab hum ek nayi activity karenge is activity mein aapke samne kuch situations hongi aur in situations mein kuch log demotivated feel kar rahe hain aapko in diye gaye hue situations mein se ek option choose karna hai jisse wo insaan मोटिवेटेड फील करे क्या आप तैयार है चलिए फिर लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द सिचुएशन द फर्स्ट सिचुएशन इज माई फ्रेंड राम इज फीलिंग डिमोटिवेटेड बिकॉज ही गॉट फ्यू मार्क्स इन द एग्जाम नाउ द ऑप्शन आर make fun of your friend help him in the studies and tell him to study hard to score more marks in the next exam or option c tell him not to worry and suggest he go out and play to freshen his mind now children you have 10 seconds 
to guess what the correct answer is and your time starts now Three, two, one, go. So here, the correct answer is option B, which is help him in the studies and tell him to study hard to score more marks in the next exam. Now, let's move to the second situation. The second situation is. One of my friends from my dance group forgot one dance step on the performance day. She thinks because of her they all got third prize instead of the first. Now the options are A try to make her understand they got the prize because of the overall group performance. Tell her not to worry and enjoy as they won the third prize. Option B, get angry at her and blame her. Or option C, avoid talking to her. Now you have 10 seconds and your time starts now. I hope you were able to answer this. The correct answer is option A which says try to make her understand that they got the prize because of the overall group performance and tell her not to worry and enjoy as they have won third prize. Now let's move to the third situation. The third situation is, what will you do when you see a small girl is crying because she is not selected in the drama team? The options are, make fun of her, tell her she does not know acting, that's why she is not being selected in the team. Or Option C, tell her to practice so that she can be selected in the second round. And now you have 10 seconds to answer this question. Your time starts now. All right, your time is up. Can you all tell me what the correct answer is? The correct answer is option C, which is tell her to practice so that she can be selected in the second round. Now, our final situation. Your younger brother did not win any medal on the sports day. Now, the options are tell him that he did not do well. That's why he did not get any medal. Option B, tell him to work hard. Or option C, make fun of him and make him cry. You again have 10 seconds to answer this question and your time starts now. Time is up. Let's see what the correct answer is. And the correct answer is Option B, tell him to work hard. 
children i hope you enjoyed this activity this activity taught us how we can motivate people in our lives when they are feeling demotivated is activity se humne ye sikha ki hum apne zindagi mein kaise logo ko motivate kar sakte hain and now for homework i would request you to create a poster out of proverbs i would like to end this session with a very nice saying the saying is try try till you succeed i hope you had fun in today's session and i will see you in our next session until then take care and stay safe bye